Her hand went through the rope. I'm just saying. Are you Lao Chow? No. Yes, welcome. What can I get you? Um. I'm just going to point this out. His mustache is not a mustache. I think it's actually his nose hair grown out so long that he braided it and makes it look like a beard. Could be a coincidence, I'm just saying. Looks like he's got nose hair as a beard. Actually, we didn't come to eat today. New style. We've got a friend that's very ill. She's in bad shape. We want to give her your miracle dish so she can get better. Could you make it for her, please? Hmm, I see. I wish I could help you, but there's a special ingredient I need to make my miracle dish. Of course you fucking there always is. To make my miracle dish, I need a white windflower. A white? People say that it's extinct now. You can't find it anywhere at all. You used to be able to find them flowering in deep valleys. A white windflower, huh? Monica, there's a chance that it might grow back in Starlight Canyon. It might. Yeah, it is the past after all. Okay, Lao Chow. And Lao Chow's like, what the what fuck are you do? talking about? Alright. So now we got another golf hole. Alright. Well, would you like your picture taken? Yeah, he's got nose hair. He's definitely nose hair. Most definitely. Alright. Moving on. Moving on, shall we? Heading on back. Well, the place is starting to look nice, though. Starting to improve if we actually look up. Actually get a nice view of that whole structure. I think there's supposed to be a crystal in the middle of it or something. But it is getting restored. After a little while. <sighs> Still, like I said, I'm on a mission here. I am on a determined mission. Back into the Starlight Canyon. Once more. Oh, I almost just belched real bad. It's probably in this place. It'd be my guess. Let's see. Come on, tell me it is. It's a little bit different. Tell me it is, come on. Everything's different around here. We yep. Don't wanna fight. We wanna ask you something. Uh huh. What's that now? We're looking for a white wind flower. Have you seen any near here? White wind flower? Haven't heard of it. Oh, damn. You could find one from the sky. Will you help us look? Hmm? I don't think so. I've got enough to worry about. Man, she speaks with no mouth moving. What's the matter? Look at that. I'm constipated. Oh, yeah. Some weird old something is up above my home with my dear chicks inside. I oh, no. Sweet children some food, but I can't get near the place. Looks like a time distortion. I guess time this is so dumb, but at the same time, it's so cool. Distortion? That's right. When Griffin disturbed the flow of time, it started to warp and become strained in places. Those places are time distortions. There are already lots of time distortions in my era, but it looks like they've started happening in this time, too. How can we get rid of it? Whenever there's a time distortion, there's always a fragment that falls out somewhere nearby. If you hit that fragment into the distortion, you can make the distortion go away. Really? You can get rid of it? Well, what are you waiting for? I'll help you find your white wind thingy when you're done. This. <laughs> really? Okay, Monica, let's get rid of it. All right. It's not all that easy. No, you gotta play golf. Mini golf. Here, hold on. Now where is it? 
Just monkeying about. This is it. This is a time distortion fragment. It's also called a sphere. Be careful. You can't touch it. It's also called a golf ball in my time. <laughs> can't touch it with your bare hands. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's fucking golf. We need some kind of long stick to hit the sphere with. Oh man. See if there's some kind of stick handy. Then I'll show you how to hit the sphere. Oh wow. A stick. Where do I get a stick? I just touch them with my shoes. Does that count? Can I just kick it? Like soccer? Can we just make soccer in this world? In this time and era? Uh, yeah, pretty much it's golf. To summarize, it's golf. But we're looking for a stick. Looking for a stick. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Is it in here? I don't actually remember where the hell this thing could be. So we gotta find a stick. So where the hell could it be? Some sort of tree, but really aren't any trees. So what the fuck? Monica? Some sort of stick handy. You show it and can hit the sphere. But I'm not seeing anything. I There's nothing around here. Unless it's just like sitting on the ground somewhere. Wait. Okay, I'm lost. Wait, there it is. Handy stick. I found it. Alright, now we can move on back and hit it with the stick. Go golfing. I got it. It's golf. It's pretty much golf. Yeah, I do. Let's try it. I actually accidentally skipped her dialogue, sorry. You hit the spear with a stick and send it flying. That's called taking a shot. It's called golfing. <laughs> it's a good shot, and you'll get the sphere into the distortion. But there's one thing you've got to remember. When you hit the time distortion fragment, also called the sphere, against something, it changes color from blue to red back to blue, like that. If the distortion is blue, you can only wipe it out with the red sphere. When the sphere and the distortion are the same color, they repel each other, and it won't work. So if your sphere is the same color as the distortion, you have to hit it up against a wall or something, and change the color back. It's the only way you can wipe out the distortion. We call this hitting the sphere up against a wall to it's change its bumping. color. Bumping. Oh, man. It's good terminology. You can bump the sphere as many times as you want, but the number of shots you can take are limited, so watch out. If you don't get the sphere into the distortion... <laughs> Max is like, what the fuck is this? This is golf. <laughs> Wiping out time distortions like this, Sfida. It's Sfida. It's wow. Some so it's a sport. Sfida like a sport. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder. In danger like this. I know it sounds pretty dumb. This. <laughs> but I guess people like to escape from reality. That's about it. Did you get all that? Want me to explain again? Oh god, no! Please, no. <laughs> okay, you can try it now. Good luck. Oh my god. Let's see, press A to begin swing, again to hit power level, and again to hit the sphere. Impact zone, okay. Yeah, 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 I fucking get it! Now... See, this is immediately gonna make me want to hit the thing at least once. And I only got three shots. Are you fucking serious? I gotta equip the goddamn thing. I got equipped. All right. Well, this, uh, hopefully I don't fuck this up real bad. That may have been a fuck up. Okay, that was not too bad. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! It bounces on what fucking floors too. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, that was like spot on. Not too bad, it's complete shit. 
Off course again. Oh my fucking god. There's no way in hell. No way in hell now. Nope. Fuck it. I'm very fucked up. It's gotta damn this camera angle. Fuck it. Just swing it. Oh my god, you freaking are serious. That fucking. Oh, fuck you. Yes, I want to try again. We have to do this. I fucking had it too. I think if I hit... Is, is it if I hit that, maybe? Right there? Because that seems like a coincidence. Try and get this... Yeah, right there in the middle! Close enough, fuck it. And bah! Ah, fuck. I think that's gonna be bad. Yeah, buddy! Well... I thought that thing just bounced everywhere. Okay. So if I just hit it once... Please tell me... Okay. Can I get up there? Alright. Straight shot in. Straight shot. Full power. Perfect. Whack! Oh, come on! Are you... Even by the hit, it doesn't count? Oh my god, you can't be serious. Where is it now? Okay. Screw it. I don't care. So even by the hit, it doesn't count. Alright, that's cool. Fuck it. It's in. It counts. Yeah. Never gonna play it again. <laughs> wow, you're good. I think golf's alright, but oh, my babies. Yeah. Well there we go, we did it. Now I'm salty as fuck again. Did you find it? Okay. Thank you all so much. How can I ever repay you? Well, hey, gee. Look. Yeah, you got a flower on your head. What, what is it? This is it. The flower She's got it. Ah, oh, it's right there. Amazing. I can't believe your flower would be growing on my head. Take it if that's what you need. After no problem. All, thanks to you that my children are safe and sound. Yeah. You, Mrs. Condor. Well, I'm off. Never oh, see the oh, bird again. Uh, when that strange whole thingy disappeared a while ago, this fell out. It just gets in my way. Here, take it. Yeah, an official club. That I will never use again. See you. And believe it or not, I think you can actually use them as weapons. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> now we get to go all the way back! After all that fun fiasco. That was so much fun. My shots were goddamn amazing. You cannot deny those epic MLG golf shots. See, this is why I don't play, like, Mario Golf. If I want to play golf, I fucking play golf. In real life. Just like basketball. And football. That's why I don't play those type of games, because I don't give a shit. If I can do it in real life, then I'll do it in real life. That's why I got fantasy games a lot of time. Like Final Fantasy, perfect example. Can you do that shit in real life? No, you can't. That's why you fucking play the game. So you can emulate that experience, that experience. Oh, that's right, we gotta give it to him. <laughs> Back to being calm and salty again. Oh, that's right, I got my weapon swapped out. Uh, where was it? Where the fuck is it? There it is. Ray. 
the music of hope. Wow, unbelievable! You've got unbelievable. a wind flower. Yeah, we darn sure did. And now you'll make your miracle dish for us, right? Uh, no. Of course. It's been quite a while, but let's give it a whirl. All right. Well, hopefully he doesn't have to experiment with it with his fucking nose hairs. Nose hair. And he's one fast cook. All done. Here you go. Yeah. Uh, miracle dumplings. This will make Lynn better. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hurry. Yeah. Chow, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Hope it does the trick. He's got a, hug a mother panda hugging a little panda in the back of his shirt. It's pretty adorable. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Probably need to switch back to this because I have a I have a hunch that I am going to need my weapon back because I'm pretty sure a stick is not going to be useful. Handy stick, just the right size for swinging. Go for Sveta. And never ever be used again. Sveta Club, good for medium range. Dumplings made of by Lao Child, they cure any illness. Alright, switch back to that, and we're good to go. Good to go. Good to go. And then we can give the miracle dish to that little kid. That girl, and then something's going to happen. Something awesome. Well, sort of. Bad experience for the girl. Progressive experience for the game in general. But it's for the good. Of, it's for her greater good too. It's only been like five years later. Yeah, they look really good too. Hands off! Those are for Lynn. Well, fuck you! I know, I know. Jesus. Let's hurry up and get them to her. Okay. She's right there. You don't have to be like, okay. All right. Well, where the fuck are they? Wait, there they are. Take the food. <sighs> and now she's better all of a sudden. Ooh, she's coming too. I. Uh, what? What happened? Lynn. Oh, thank goodness you're all better. Argo, please. Why am I here? Has Master Crest gone off to training? Why didn't he wake me? Lynn. Why, Argo? You don't remember, then, about Master Crest? Looks like she's lost her memory. Huh? Well, she's useless. Lynn, Master Crest. What about him? Uh, Master Crest is gone, Lynn. He's dead. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> don't joke around. So you really don't remember. You must have amnesia. Master Crest gave his life to protect the Moon Crystal. He was a brave and wise mage. What? But what are you saying, Largo? Where is Master Crest? Tell me. Where is he? So as a headache. Listen closely, Lynn. I know you may not remember, but you and Master Crest set out like always to inspect the moon crystal. But that day was different. A flying warship appeared in the night sky and opened fire on the lighthouse. Master Crest sacrificed himself to keep the lighthouse's moon crystal safe from harm. You must have seen that happen, Lynn. You yourself came to me in tears and told me all about it. 
Have you really forgotten? Maybe it became repressed memories. I believe my master's dead. Lin, I know you don't want to believe it, but you'll never move forward if you keep running from the truth. Lin, we can go save Crest right now. We'll change his history so he won't have to die. You can save him? But it's the present. I don't quite understand that. If your memory returns, you can help save him. My memories. Master... Master Crest. I don't know. I just don't know. I can't remember anything. Lynn, in the very depths of your heart, I think you want to forget you ever saw Master Crest's death. That's why you can't remember it. But your memories are crucial if we are to save Master Crest. You must do your best to remember. <sighs> Don't worry, there's plenty of time. Let's take Lynn with us and go to the Cape Lighthouse. Maybe that will help her to remember something. Yes, we have to try. Then please, look after Lynn. Good luck, and be careful. Well, at least she's safe and sound, and alive and well. Found waterfall bottle. Huh, I'll have to keep that in mind in the future. I did not notice that the whole time. Or maybe I have and it's just been a while. Whatever. No matter. Moving on. Carry on. Now we can move our happy asses all the way back over here. All the way over here. Make sure we prep save just in case. Because I have a hunch something's about to happen. Something big. Something really de vile. I don't know. Well, I do know. Because like I said, I, even though I got this far playing this game on my own, I watched my, bro my brother play through this whole entire thing on his own profile way back, so... I know how everything ends. Move to Yorda's Valley. But it's the idea that I have to beat it myself, you know? Just like Dark Cloud 1, I had to beat myself too. But there's gonna be some chain of events going on around here. So let's check it out. Over here. Over here. Cutscene. Something's going to happen. She's remembering. No! Lynn. But something's wrong. everyone respects them treats them like royalty hey that's not right don't you mean something like so I can save the world honestly does the voice for this girl sound like she should be older <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> that works too to tell the truth I want to be the kind of person who can put everyone else at ease Everyone can count on a sage. With a dependable person nearby, danger is always far away. That's what a sage is. Don't you think you'd want someone like that near you? Someone to count on? Yeah, I do. My hometown was an easy target for the thieves that came from the desert. Everyone was constantly on edge, never knowing when they would strike next. Those fairy characters. As a child, I often wondered, 
Isn't there someone strong out there who can take care of these thugs? What about the sages I read about in fairy tales? Where are they? Well, I was about to find out. It was when the thieves were plundering the village one day. A single robed man showed up out of nowhere. He used mysterious magic to defeat the raiders one by one and defend the village. I thought this must be who I've been waiting for. So I asked him, are you a sage, I said? He replied, me? I'm no sage. I could never come close. A sage is a person who can defend others just by being there, he said. Just by being there? Is that even possible? Nope. That's what I want to do, if I can. So that sage was my role model. Hmm. Sages are great people, aren't they? So, if you can use a lot of magic, then you can be a sage? Hmm, I wonder. Even I don't know that. <laughs> Memory flashbacks, oh god. <laughs> Let's go on to the dark side. Actually, there's some evil entity, yep. That's been clouding her thoughts. That? It's a memory eater. It's a memo eater. So that's it, huh? Oh, that was actually pretty damn close. It's a memo eater. Memory eater. That's what I said. Memo eater. It's an ant eater. <laughs> that's right. It gets into people's heads and eats up their memories. It's a nasty little fucking parasite. Nasty, nasty parasite. Look at this fucking thing. Memo Eater. Devourer of memories. And looks virtually harmless. Really. And it's just gonna be me fighting. Yeah, I got a picture in time before- Ow! You just gooped me! How dare you! I got- I got gooped! Ow! <laughs> I- <laughs> I can't- God damn it! It's fucking slow as shit! And I'm still gooped. Oh crap. I don't have any soap. Shit. Ow! Oh my fucking god! I can't do anything! This is bullshit! Ow! Fuck this. There we go. Fucking asshole. Couldn't do anything to him. Now there's hope again. It was under this tree that my master told me his dreams of being a sage. Uh, must go to the lighthouse. Save Master Crest. Right, the lighthouse. That's where you and Crest were attacked. So if we go there, we can save Crest. Right, let's go. Uh. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a random little pause there. And I'm still slow. Great. Don't worry, I will get there eventually. Alright, switch. Let's go. The new beginning of hope. As the majestic music goes off in the background. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, though, we are not going to advance quite yet. Not quite yet. We will eventually, but not now. Not yet. Because for now, I think I'm going to just stop here for a while, because we actually went over almost two hours in. 
Not too bad. But I am wanting to stop here for now because I am wanting to play some more Final Fantasy XIV. And I keep doing that, even though the memory card's now here. So, yep. I'm leaving it at this for now. So feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Any support or feedback would be nice. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next session of Dark Cloud 2 on the PlayStation 2. But until then, I'm DTS the Tedious, and I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.